In Light of This Time, Creating an Isolation is a group exhibition at the Oak Tokes Art Gallery. G9 represents the group of artists who make up this interesting and complex show. G9, otherwise known as Group 9, was formed in 2016 by nine visual artists from Calgary and the Foothills. The idea was to provide a forum for artistic, conceptual, and philosophical dialogue on current issues in contemporary visual culture in Canada and around the globe. They represent a diverse spectrum of experiences and differences in background, age, and practice. The artists embrace their diversity through their creative strength and find unity in the belief that the differing lenses through which they interpret the world enriches the quality of human experience. G9 consists of Susan Christofferson, Aaron Sidorenko, Jean Peterson, Greg Pyra, David Harrison, Cameron Roberts, Asta Dale, Cindy Delpart, and Sika Owen. One philosophy in particular seems to be a guiding principle for the group. Quote, through different artistic visual representations, we can collectively stimulate various aspects of beauty and communicate a message that can unite us. That message being unity through diversity. In this tour, we will explore some of the individual pieces which make up this exhibition, revealing a little about each artist's process, as well as themes that link the work of artists from this group. We begin with the art of Sika Owen. These pieces, entitled COVID-19 2020, reflect a time of isolation brought about due to the pandemic. It's now a familiar theme for many of us, and the artist's ruminations over the subject are clear with every choice made. From the circular handmade paper which references the shape of the virus, to the introspection that links artist and viewer when one allows themselves to get lost in the details of each piece. Sika describes her process as beginning intuitively, but with an application process that demands control. Color plays an important role, often the starting point of an idea for the artist, and may change as part of the process, forming the lines, the shape, and contrast in each piece, appealing and speaking to the viewer in what is sure to be quite personal ways. Sika works until she has achieved the order and light that will generate the color, it involves a constant interaction between her and her canvas. Sika Owen is a professional artist, educator, mentor, and an active member of the artistic community in Calgary, Alberta. Sika received her Bachelor of Fine Arts from the University of Alberta, and she has maintained an exhibiting career in Alberta, Canada, the United States, and Europe. Next, we have the work of Jean Peterson. Like Sika, Jean speaks of the isolation brought about as a result of the pandemic, describing it as a time of not just isolation, but simplicity. She describes the work she created during COVID-19 as simple in color, shape, and design. Her journey through the pandemic is one she sees as immediate and assertive, without color. Many of the feelings we all have shared as a result of this time in our lives, and the isolation it has entailed, is reflected back to us in the process Jean finds in her work. Gray scale and loose mark making spill out onto plastic paper called Yupo. And the fluidity of time, with days and weeks running together, is embodied by the layering of imagery, as though we were looking at life in motion, time passing, overlapping and blurring. There's an openness and immediacy to the way she works, rendering a likeness while simultaneously reflecting deeper themes regarding emotional and psychological complexity to which we all can relate. Each of us is flawed, compassionate, and vulnerable. In finding and connecting with these common themes and experiences, Jean takes risks, searching for a connection, and what she describes as a true moment between the artist and the subject, us, the viewer. Jean Peterson is an artist, author, and educator who has been working in oil, watercolor, acrylic, and mixed media for over 20 years. She has work placed in the Royal Collection in Windsor, England, and has been honored with numerous national and international awards over the years.
Artist Susan Christofferson, like her fellow artists, also reflects on the isolation brought about as the result of the COVID-19 pandemic. Her collages reference this separation and isolation, but come with an uplifting message as well, that even when we are separated, we are connected to family, friends, and the communities that sustain us. And while these connections are not always visible, like the collage technique, which symbolizes overlapping connections and relationships, even when standing alone, we are together as one whole. Susan says the importance of relationships is always at the core of artwork she creates. Her works reflect examples of relationships in nature, as well as relationships of line, color, shape, and texture. Each aspect of her work is carefully thought out and controlled, from the painting and dyeing of papers to the characteristics of the paper chosen. This allows the artist to control the color, texture, and patterns created. In Foothills Fall, for example, the artist has created an abstraction of a forest she sees daily. The aspen trees of this image are not singular organisms. While groves of these trees look like many individual independent trees, they have all grown from one expansive set of roots that represent one organism. The grove has the same genetic code and will bloom, leaf out, and develop fall colors at the same time. The papers of this collage are almost all hand-painted in a technique called paste painting. While creating the painting, the artist did not know what the final artwork would become and was guided only by a need for fall colors and subtle texture. Susan Christofferson received a Bachelor of Arts with teaching certification from the University of Texas in Austin and later obtained a Master of Fine Arts in Textiles at Indiana University. She is skilled in textile arts and paper making and has been an art teacher, art professor, and head of college fiber arts program. She now primarily works with specialty papers that often look like fabric. Cindy Delpart's two paintings were completed in the early months of the COVID-19 pandemic, when she says the pandemic provided the impetus for the works. Her focus was on strong design, composition, and color. Once in studio, the artist says it was easy for her to set aside life's interferences. Meditation during these stressful times allowed the artist to maintain a calmness that guided her in the solitary creation of her work. Usually abstract, the artist's work grew from images inspired by a contemplation of our prairie landscape. Cindy describes an intense appreciation for her prairie roots and believes this passion has fundamentally influenced her creative endeavors. In her exploration of the vastness of the physical world and our prairie landscape, she finds a place of personal reflection and imagination that is poignantly communicated with the viewer in these paintings. Her works are large and expressive marks with acrylic paint, achieved on canvas as we see here and sometimes paper. Born and raised in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Cindy Delpart studied graphic design at George Brown College in Toronto, Ontario. For the past 30 years, she has resided in Calgary, where her art infuses every aspect of her life. There's plenty more to explore in this exhibition, and we hope you'll join us for part two of our exhibition tour coming soon. Thank you so much.